sum of angles in a triangle and polygons. Sum of angles in any triangle will always be 180 degree. Now let's look at this. Here we have this triangle ABC. So the rule says that here we have A plus angle B plus angle C. The sum must be equal to 180 degree. So this is the general rule. Anytime you have the sum of um, triangle, I mean the integral sum of triangle will always be equal to 180 degree. Now let's look at the first example and let's apply this rule. So calculate the value of theta. We have 70 degree, we have 75 degree and we have theta. So then let's calculate theta using the same rule. Here we have that theta plus 70 degree plus 75 the sum must be equal to 180 degree. Now, solving this further here, we have our theta to be equal to 180 minus 70 minus 75 degree. And finally, theta is going to be 35 degree. So, this is the application of the first rule. Now, let's look at the second rule that says that sum of angles in any any polygons now we look at the sum of integral angles okay now the sum of integral angle is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree now let's look at this shape this is having how many shapes we have one two three four five we have five sides so this is called a pentagon so we have this to be the pentagon and the rule says that what n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree. Now, let's calculate the sum of these angles. Here we have angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D plus angle E. The sum must be n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree. So our n in this is going to be what? 5. So let's look at the sum. So here we have the sum as 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180. And this is going to give me 3 times 180 degree. And this is going to be 540 degree. Now the rule has been utilized which is the sum of interior angles must be equal to n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree now let's proceed by utilizing this rule now looking at this example here we are having four angles which is a quadrilateral in this side we have one two three four so our n is not going to be five in this example our n is going to be four now let's use the same example to do this now let's add up the angles here we have angle theta plus 56 degree plus 95 degree plus 98 degree don't forget these angles are not drawn to scale this must be equals to n minus 2 multiplied by 180 now n minus 2 multiplied by 180 is going to be 4 minus 2 multiplied by 180 so here we have theta to be 4 minus 2 is 2. Multiplied by 180 is going to be 360. 360 minus 56 minus 95 minus 98. Here, my theta is going to be 111 degree. Okay. And the last rule here says that the sum of the exterior angles of any polygons is 360 degree this is rule number three okay now if you look at angle a this is an exterior angle if you look at angle b this is an exterior angle also angle c is also an exterior angle that is they are outside this triangle so the rule says that we have a plus b plus c equals 360 degree
this is the general rule for the sum of exterior angles of any polygon now we've gotten three rules here today the sum of exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degree that is rule number three and for rule number two says the sum of interior angle equal n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree and the first rule we did today is that the sum of angles in any triangle will always be 180 degree thank you very much for watching for you to follow more on geometry subscribe to this channel and share this video see you next